Passing the baton is a vital part of finishing the race, and that's exactly what NATO and U.S. forces did at Camp Mike Span. They gave the camp to the Afghan National Army to continue the mission we started. Major Jay Bernard, the mayor of Camp Span, says it was named after the first U.S. casualty in Afghanistan. Mike Span was one of the first bases in Afghanistan. Uh, it was named after uh, Johnny Michael Span, uh, who was a CIA operative that was killed at Kalajengi Fortress. It's been used as a train and advise base with the 209th Corps, ANA, and multiple coalition forces have come through the base uh, doing the train and advise mission. Regional Security Force North was established to support the Afghan National Security Force to develop key sustainment capabilities. The 82nd Airborne Division lowers old glory for the last time. Handing over Camp Span brings a lot of joy to the troops on the ground. Personal satisfaction I, I get out of it is to see all of the hard work that everyone put in, both for the advising and actually closing the camp. We've built a lot of friendships here with the coalition forces and the Afghan National Army. It was a team effort and, and they're ready to take it over now and uh, drive on with their mission. Together with the ANA, coalition forces increase the size of the Regional Corps Battle School. The Afghan and coalition forces partnership doesn't end with the passing of the baton. It merely exchanges hands. From Camp Span, Afghanistan, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Josh Lovely.